In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a VPN on your iPad. The first thing we need to do is to download a VPN to our iPad. So to do this, we first want to open the App Store, and then you want to click on the search icon in the top navigation bar, and then you want to search for a VPN of your choice. For this example, we are going to be using NordVPN. Once you've searched for it, it should be the top result, which will look like this. Now you can scroll down to view more information about it. However, to download it, you want to scroll to the top, and you want to click on the Get button. However, mine shows the cloud icon because I've downloaded this in the past. Once you've downloaded your VPN, you can exit out of the App Store, and now you can go ahead and open up the VPN application you've just downloaded. When you open NordVPN for the first time, you'll be taken to this privacy screen. So you want to read through the information, and you want to select one of these options. Now you'll be taken to the login screen. So you want to go ahead and log into your NordVPN account. And if you don't have one already, I recommend you click on the link in the description of this video or scan the QR code on screen now, where you can get up to 72% off your NordVPN account. So once you're ready, you want to click on login, and then you want to proceed to log into your NordVPN account that you've just created. So when you log into your account for the first time, you're prompted to receive notifications. So you simply want to select one of these options. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to the homepage of NordVPN, where you can start using it just as you normally would. So now, we just need to go ahead and connect to a NordVPN server, and there are three ways of doing this. The first way is to use the map on screen now, where you can go ahead and select any server from anywhere around the world. Alternatively, you can use this list by dragging it up, and dragging it up again, and you can scroll through the list of countries here. Or, alternatively, you can go ahead and select to the closest and fastest VPN server. So to do that, you want to scroll all the way to the top, and you want to click on the blue Quick Connect button at the top. When you do this, you'll need to grant your iPad permission to connect to a VPN. So you want to click on Got It, and then you'll be prompted to create a VPN configuration, so you want to select Allow, and then you'll be taken to the Settings application, where you need to enter in your iPad passcode. Once the VPN configuration has been created, you'll be successfully connected to the VPN server. Now again, because it's the first time, it's also going to prompt us to enable threat protection. So for the example of this video, I'm going to select Enable. And then I'll need to reconnect to the server. And once we've done that, now we are going to be successfully connected to the NordVPN server. So we can exit out of the application, and we can start using our iPad just as we normally would. If you want to disconnect from the VPN server, you simply want to open the NordVPN application. And then where it says Auto Connect Enabled, you want to select Manage. And then you want to select Disable Auto Connect. And that's it, so remember to click on the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to get yourself up to 72% off your NordVPN account. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like, and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.